Alrighty, uh, just doing a um, uh, a coolant swap on this. Uh, the car's got just clean water in it, so uh, draining that out, and I'm uh, going to put some proper coolant in it. And uh, so, radiator cap off. Uh, unplug this overflow here, so that it's draining this still a little bit. Um, so just drain the reservoir wire out because that's got no coolant in it either, just clean water. Radiator as well. Now you've got to take a grommet out from the bottom of the center radiator, like this. Make sure you've got a screwdriver that fits. Don't put a small screwdriver in this because it's only plastic and you'll destroy it. It's just your standard Phillips head. I'm not too sure what size screwdriver you need, but it's fair size. And uh, that just goes under here in the center. Uh, I would have preferred a tap like most radiators have, but this has got a grommet. Take out the screwdriver, and yeah, make sure you do use a proper screwdriver and not a small one because you'll thread out the center and then you're not getting the plug out, and then you'll have to take the radiator hose off to do the job instead. Uh, you can see that uh, the reservoir didn't completely empty out there, got to a certain point, so no big deal. It's only uh, three uh, 10 mil bolts to come out. I'll take the reservoir out, reservoir out and um, I might as well put some water in it and give it a shake and just for a bit of a clean. There you go. Did have a bit of gunk in there. I've tipped a lot of it out already. Still a bit of water in there so I'll give it a good shake. Just try and clean all that crap in there out. And uh, nothing to it. There's no sensors or anything on it to say that the water level's low. So it's just unplugging that unplugging that um, water line, undoing the bolts and taking it out. And so it's all nice and clean in there now. Just a couple of teaspoons of uh, rice, uh, probably about half a cup of vinegar, and two tablespoons of um, bicarb soda. Shake it for about two or three minutes, or in all angles, and uh, get it all nice and clean inside. It's my hand that you can see on the side there. <clears throat> so yeah, she's all nice and clean inside there now. So we'll put it back together. Okay, coolant's in. It's in the reservoir there. Nice and clearly how full it is. Cut back on. And now uh, I go in and um, run the car with the heaters on, give it a good cycle uh, for probably about five minutes. And uh, then I'll turn the car off and check the water level and uh, top up if I need to. All right, after a five minute run, I uh, let it sit for a few minutes afterwards as well. Then I uh, turn the cap only a little bit, so if there's any pressure there, that it's going to go back into the line over to the reservoir. I don't want any water coming in. And uh, that's where it resides, where it sits, so I'm happy with that. So that's it. Pretty simple water change. Alright, cheers guys.